Hi girls, today I'm going to show you how I did this beach mani and I did it over my saran wrap technique and there's a tutorial I did on that so if you just look for it under my videos um, it'll show you how to do the background with the saran wrap technique. Um, so this is what it basically you know looks like here and then I just I'm adding just starting to add these little clouds and I just did watercolor you know with some acrylic it added some water to it so this is how it will look you know when we get done with it um, and this is a really big nail so but anyway we're gonna do it on this one and I'll finish doing the clouds and the you know the beach showing you so I just use this color for just some old acrylic paint I had around for the beach uh, sand and then with some with some white to you know make it light enough you know I've got my water um, my little tile little ceramic tile works great for this and we're gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of the white and I just I'm just gonna take some out of my lid and just put a little bit on my tile right there Add a little bit of water to it. You don't have to, but I kind of like it because it softens it up. You know, it gives a little bit softer look. So I've already, we're just going to do a couple clouds. You won't have much room, you know, for any more than that. Um, and if you add more water, you can make your clouds look even softer, kind of like how I did there. Depending on how long your nails are too, of, you know, how much room you're going to have to do the clouds. So next we're going to go to the sand. And so I'm just going to add a little water. I've got some paint right there. And we're going to add just a little bit, a little bit, so, you know, we can add some more to our sand. So I don't want it too dark because, because we're going to put a little starfish on here. Now on two of my nails I did footprints and you can do that, it's on the same plate. Um, but today I'm doing, because uh, the other two I did the little starfish and we're doing the starfish today on ours. So there's my sand, good enough. And um, we're gonna just let it dry just a little bit. And then <clears throat> this is, <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna do our stamping on here now. And this is Lena Summer 03 plate. And on here, I'm just going to use this seafoam image right here. And I'm only going to go on this side, take a little strip of it to put right above my sand. And then we're also going to do our palm trees off of here too. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll do the seafoam right now. I'm going to turn it around my way. And I'm using Bundle Monsters stamping polishes. All of them are Bundle Monster or now called Maniology. So I will put all the names of the acrylic paint and my stamping polishes and everything I use. This is called Rocco Wear. It's just a real soft kind of a little teeny blue to the mint green. And I'm just going to put it on the side, just down the strip of it, because that's all we need to put above our sand, you know, that we're not wasting a bunch of stuff. This is my big bling jelly, clear jelly stamper, and my Bundle Monster scraper is what I'm using. So I'm just going to roll. And so this is what it looks like, just a little strip. And we're going to put there. And we're going to put that right above here, right above our beach. So we're going to see it and roll it off. There it is. Just gives us a little more, you know, interest and adds to our little beach scene. Okay, so now I'm going to use my lint roller get this all cleaned off and next we're going to do our palm tree and that's also in here so i'm going to use the black straight up black from bundle monster maniology <laughs> i'm still trying to get used to the change and i'm just going to do the trunk in black first now you could do the whole tree in green if you want to because i'm going to do the top part in green but i Palm trees aren't always, don't always have a green trunk. Sometimes it's brown, you know, whatever. Anyway, so I'm doing it this way. So this is how I did my little black trunk. And we're going to put that over, over here. OK, 
okay? And then we're gonna do the, it in green now. So we're using this dark green, it's called Tree of Life. And put that over the whole palm tree. Scrape it, roll it. Let me clean off the excess with my Bundle Monster scraping card. And there you go. Okay. And then we're just going to put that right over the black trunk. Just kind of line it up over the black trunk and go there. Okay. And then just kind of, you know, roll it off. And there's your tree. Okay. And then next we're going to do um, birds because I have birds on there and we're going to get some of the birds. It's, the birds are, now we're going to the next plate, which is by What's Up. Um, it's AO or A019, and they have some great stuff on here for the beach. Um, on the two of my nails, I use their footprints over here, and they have small and large. But on what we're doing today is we're doing the ones, because I also have two that have the starfish, and we're doing the starfish right here. And there's big ones and small ones, depending on how big your nail is. So we're going to do that right now. And that color we're using Arabica, or Arabica, however you say it. And let's see. So we're going to do kind of maybe, uh, maybe the, the mid-sized ones. So scrape it. And I'm missing my stamper. Here it is. <laughs> and roll. Okay. These um, these are probably not going to show up really super good. But, oh, they might be okay. All right. So, anyway. So, there they are. Can you see them? I actually did them in black on mine. I'm not sure why I grabbed that because it was sitting there. We could do the black over it. It'll show up a little bit better. We'll just do the same thing. But we'll do it in black. You could do yours, you know, whatever you want. You could do yours in white if you wanted to, if you liked that better. So here's the black ones. And we're just going to go, I'm going straight over it. But if you want them black, do them black the first time. It'd be a lot quicker and easier. Okay, there we go. Okay. And so there, there we go. And so now we just need to do our little starfish. So let's get that, and that we are doing it in the Arabic. I think that's how I ended up with that out there, got sidetracked. So you can do the bigger or the smaller. Um, let me see. I think we'll do the big one, then you can see it easier, but you could do the smaller if you like the smaller better. I just love the starfish. They're so cute. Okay, let me clean off the excess stuff here. It's my Bundle Monster card. And there is our cute little starfish. So we're going to put him oh over here on the sand. Right there. Just kind of carefully roll off. Okay. And so there there's our beach scene. And so next all we're going to do is use some smudge free top coat bundle monster maniology. Love it. So far, it's never let me down. Um, oh, I almost forgot. Little coconuts. So I have little coconuts in mine, and I just love that. You don't have to do coconuts. You could be done at this point. But if you want the coconuts, I used a little tiny detail brush. But if you want, you can just use a dotting tool. I just grabbed some of that brown paint. You could use the Arabica if you, if you don't have any brown paint, but... We're just gonna add, uh, actually that might be too big. Let me try this smaller one. Okay, we're just gonna add three, three little coconuts. Maybe I didn't get enough paint on there. And there, and there. So there's our little coconuts. And we're just gonna let that dry a second. Maybe I should use my blow dryer. Because we don't want to smear them now. Oh, 
acrylic paint usually dries pretty fast. Okay, so you just take your smudge free, you know, get a fair, get a generous amount, and just kind of go down the center, and then side, and believe me, the smudge free is well worth it. It does, and it's not. It doesn't cost very much. It's really reasonable. So anyway, there you go. There's your top coat. You could do a gel clear coat if you wanted to also. And so I hope you had fun. It's a lot of fun doing it. Give it a try. And please like and subscribe and click on my bell icon so that you'll get my next new video, um, next tutorial when it comes out. You get a notice. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Bye.